You're not clean from the inside out. Everybody can see your nastiness. My God. Y'all not, oh God, have mercy. I need your participation this morning. I don't need you going off in left field. I don't need you to get distracted because that's the spirit of witchcraft. So I tear down the spirit of witchcraft this morning. Yes. And every spirit that's distracted you before you got here, I'm calling into alignment this morning. You're going to hear this word. This word has been tailor made to save your soul. The Lord told me this. The Lord told me this this morning, Apostle. He said, "You know what? You gotta stop panicking these people and, and put them on your shoulder and burping them like they're a little baby. These people are grown. Oh, 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 they're grown, and they need, to, they need to begin to take this meat of the word. Yes. You don't need to water down the word. You don't need to put no infamil in the in the bottle no more. Come you don't on. need to be giving no baby food anymore. Yes. They need the meat of the word. That's what's gonna save your soul." God have mercy. My job, our job, our assignment is to make you heaven ready. That's it. That's the only assignment. Our assignment is to get you to heaven. That's it. Not for, oh God have mercy. Not for you to have joy unspeakable for the glory just here on earth, but to get you to heaven. Heaven ready, yes. My God. Oh God Come have on. mercy. The Lord already said I'm not going to get a lot of response today. What are you right. here? Can you say yes, right. Lord, in the building? Yes, that's all right. Preach it anyway. Watch out. Watch, watch this. I'm, I'm going to start at verse number six. It says, your glorifying is not good. Oh, my. Mm. If I don't even get to know this scripture this morning on what I got in these notes, y'all going to get some word this morning. Right. Your glorifying is no good. You, you know why Paul said that? Paul was bringing the church of Corinth into order because there was a lot of preaching going on. There was a lot of different religions going on in, in the church of Corinth. And Paul was trying to get this church in order. All right. My job this morning is to get IPPC in order. Because right. some of y'all out of order. Oh, on, God have mercy. Some of y'all sitting here this morning from the pulpit to the door is out of order. Oh, my God. And we got to get ourselves back in order because your glorifying is no good. And you know why your glorifying is no good? Because you're not glorifying in God. You live in all kind of lifestyles. You're doing all kind of things. You, oh, God have mercy. Your life is contrary to the word of God. So when you glorify God, it's no good. My God. My God. When you praise God, it's no good. When you lift up your hands, it's no good. When you shout and speak in your little tongues, it's no good. Jesus. He ain't hearing you. Jesus. Come on, it's oh, mute. It's on mute. Come Somebody on. said, yes, Lord, in here. My God. Your glorifying is no good. You know why? Because a little leaven leavened the whole lump. I'm going to talk about some leaven this morning. A little leaven leavened the whole lump. God have mercy. So purge out there for the Leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened. For even Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. I don't have time to go into the Jewish customs of leaven and unleavened bread, but I am this morning. So y'all gonna have to help me this morning. Leaven, so to be leavened. Watch this. To be leavened, I got the definition because I'm a definition preacher. To be leavened is a substance. It's a, it is it's yeast. It's a, it's bacon powder. It's like I remember when my my mom when I was growing up in the projects. Every winter, a uh, uh, blend of my mom would make bread. She would make bread from scratch, and she would knead this dough. God have mercy. And I don't know what she put in the dough, but she would knead it, and, and the house had to be nice and hot. That's why I don't like my house hot now. Uh, the house had to be nice and hot because the heat. God have mercy. Cause the leaven to work the bread to rise and cause it to expand. You, you, you know what's happening in the church. Some of y'all are not under the hot or the fire of God. Some of y'all are on the heat and the fire of sin. Sinful nature is in you. That's what the leaven represents. It represents the sinful nature. And what's happening in your life, you are expanding. You think you're expanding in God. But there is no expansion in God in your life. It's just sin increasing. Because you're still doing what you want to do when you feel like doing it. My God! Were you preaching here today? Oh, God have mercy. And so, uh, even when my mother would make this brand, Apostle, uh, the, the dough would expand, the batter would expand, uh, and it caused a scent to fill the whole house. Uh, God have mercy. 
I'm here to declare to you this morning that your sin has filled the nostril of people around you and is actually filling the church where you worship and everybody around you because you are in your sinful nature they are suffering because of what you're doing my God, oh, my God. My Come on, Some of you got the aching spirit in here. In chapter in, in, oh God, in chapter the seventh chapter, there was a man by the name of Aiken who took a garment, God have mercy, when they weren't supposed to take the garment. And it was called an accursed thing. God have mercy. And because you refuse to do the will of God, the accursed thing is on you. You're walking in the curse. You blessing God and trying to deliver yourself. But a curse is over you. But I'm here to tell you this morning, if you allow God to purge you out, I'm preaching to myself. If you allow God to cleanse you out, if you allow God to go all the way on the inside of you, God will begin to do the supernatural. He will begin to bless you. He will begin to restore you in ways you have never been restored. Jesus. Somebody say, I gotta be purged up. The dosha. Lemon is also fermented dough. It's, it's reserved for producing uh, tosha. It's some stuff that's uh, that's put in a special place. God, y'all not here yet. It's reserved for the use for another person. Your sin, God have mercy. You have got so built up. There's stuff that's so built up in you. People, oh God have mercy. People are around you. They're are attaching themselves to you because of what's on the inside of you. And you think, oh God, have mercy. Oh God, have mercy. You are calling yourself certain things uh, and God has anointed you in certain areas. Uh, the reason why you're not seeing certain breakthroughs uh, is because of what's on the inside of you. Oh you're not the encasing of God. Uh, you ain't got no power from on high. You got sin in you. Jesus. God, come on. Oh, God. I think for the rest of the year, I'm going to, I, I, I said to the Lord, I said, Lord, when are you going to release me to do this? I think, for, I think, oh God, have mercy. In December, we're going to start a study on the book of Romans, especially in Romans, the eighth chapter. I need to dispel some myths in the word of God because some of us have just been on the word and thinking this is what's going to save us. But the word alone is not going to save you. You need some revelation of that word. Come on. God. Just knowing some scripture ain't going to save you. You need a revelation. Yes. 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 Oh, Jesus. My, God, my God, my God, my God. Are y'all listening to me this morning? Yes. Yes. Come on. Woo! God, God. have mercy. Lemon is also an element that produces a, a, a learning or transforming influence. You are, you are influential. In sin, you are influential. My God. That's why some of us are afraid to walk in the spirit. Because if, if I ever tap into the spirit, uh, God have mercy. Uh, if I ever tap into the spirit, uh, the, see, the earth is not going to be attracted to you if you tap into the spirit. That's right. Come mm. on. God have mercy. Those who are calling minded are not going to be attached to you if you're walking in the spirit. That's right. The, oh, God have mercy. You, you, you going to think, why do I have no friends? Uh, why am I by myself? You know why? Because you just tapped into the realm of the spirit. That's why. Oh, Come on. God, mercy. Am I preaching to somebody in here? Preaching uh, to oh, them. Nah. Let, me, let me tell y'all something. Let me let me segue here for a minute. See, my job as your apostle, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing it down on you this morning. I'm about to say some, say some stuff in this building this morning. If you're ready to leave, there's a door right here. Oh, God, there's only one door. You can't go out the back door. You can't go through the bathroom. You can't go upstairs, down some stairs. There's only one door. So if you ain't going, if you don't want to take this word, God have mercy. There's a door with a 300 on it. But when you walked into this door, you walk into battleground. When you walk into this door, you walk into a destruction room. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God. It's my job to get you ready for heaven. It's not my job to make you feel or like me every week. And, oh, Pastor, oh, oh, I just love my no, no. Some some weeks, uh, some days, some Sundays, uh, you should go home and say, that thing just hit me real hard. That's what right. he just said, what she, what uh -huh. Pastor just preached, uh, that thing, she just hit me real hard. You should be going home some Sundays uh, and your mind is just so full. Uh, God have mercy. God deliver me through that word. That's it. Come on. Uh, it's a much the reason why you're still battling in your mind is because you're not allowing the word to renew you in your mind. That's it. Come on. Ooh. According 
in Ephesians 3 and 24. The word has to renew you. You've got to be renewed by the spirit of your mind.